One of the big questions, just how many ways can you cool down? Local 22's Courtney Adelman went to find out, and she joins us now live tonight with more. Good evening, Lauren. Yes, that's right. I went to one community and an ice cream shop to see how they are helping people stay cool on these hot summer days. The Milton Fire Department and the Milton Recreational Department hosted a community cool down. The event took place at the Milton Fire Department's parking lot. Organizer Kim DeShano says it's a way to get the community together and stay cool. People need repeat free from the heat. Um, and it's also a fun thing to get together. And um, like I said, we don't have a, a pool in town, so it's just really nice to have somewhere to go to just get cooled off even for an hour. Firefighters use their hoses as sprinklers for people to run through. And Kim says the event wouldn't be possible without them. They put it all together, set it up, they're here. They're um, really very, very helpful. And the firefighters say it's important to have events like these because extreme heat can be dangerous. You know, it's a real medical emergency if you get too hot. And while some are finding ways to stay cool, others just have to go into work. Cole Frangiosa has been working at Ben & Jerry's for over a year and enjoys working there on hot summer days. It's definitely nice to be indoors because we've got like the AC going and we're always around like the freezers and stuff. Cole says one of his favorite things is making ice cream for people on hot days. They like come in and they like to see their face change from like the sweaty groan to the, the happy smile at the end of the line. It's kind of cool to see them go through the whole line and then like they like wait and it builds up the suspense, I guess, waiting for their ice cream, and they're just so happy with it. And whether it's running through fire hoses or getting ice cream, communities hope to find exciting ways to keep people cooled down. And the Milton Recreational Department says they hope to have another community cool down event this summer, and they say they will definitely be having one next summer. Live in the studio, Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News.